prop hum, prop farm has been a topic that we cannot ignore guys prop farm if you are a forex trader and you don't know what prop farm is stay on this video and i will highlight you and i will let you know what prop farm means and i remember back in 2020 we didn't have so many prop farm but right now every single place you are hearing about prop farm so i decided to do this video to allow my thoughts and these are my own thoughts my own opinion i do not uh i do not say like what i think it's the only way because people come to me every single time i want at least to have a video to refer to them i don't want to keep answering i've answered this i've answered this many people ask me esther what are your thoughts on prop farm so i decided to create a video and in this video i will be very careful to save my own thoughts remember before you come to a conclusion first i will always ask the holy spirit because we were given the holy spirit to be our guidance to be our 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 teacher to be our mentor and all you guys who have been following me for the longest time you know i don't do anything without the guidance of the holy spirit anything that i know i credit it to the holy spirit the bible says that acknowledge god and he shall make your path straight and i believe majority of time that i have acknowledged god i have seen even my ways becoming very clear, like I don't have confusion. So this thing of prop farm, I wanted to address to from a spiritual like background or backing. So it's not from a physical backing. From a physical backing, it's a good thing. And if you're doing it, I'm not condemning you. You continue doing it. If the Holy Spirit can allow me to do it, I will, I will take it. But for me, number one, I discourage prop farm. And I discourage it from my own perspective, not biblical perspective, from my own perspective. The reason is when you have prop farm, you don't do your own strategy well because you have to meet someone else, goal, someone else, rule, someone else. So for me, the fact that it's someone else rule, don't trade news, don't have open position on weekend, don't use this lot size, don't have this minimum drawdown, all those news. Uh, all those rules they make me like feel so like suffocated so already my physical being with prop farm i do not agree so because i wanted to come and address my thoughts and even ask us uh, uh share with you what does god really say uh, when it comes to prop farm is it the will of god and that's why i'm doing this video so it's not about me i have said my, personally i don't like prop farms maybe i will use them later in the future because people do change and i will still come here and say oh guys i know i said this but yeah people do change things do change i can be approached by a prop farm maybe they don't have the 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 suffocation because the suffocation is what makes me feel like i don't want to be involved with the pro farm okay so my thoughts and I, I, when i was praying about it when i was praying to do this video guys i take everything seriously by the way anytime i want to upload a video here on youtube and it's me talking heart to heart you know how we talk heart to heart like i i want to tell you what the holy spirit said or what i feel like moved inside me I have to pray about it so that my words, this words cannot be my own. I have really um, strained myself from using prop farm. I have tried to use prop farm once and I, even it didn't, like I made so much money when I was in challenge two, I failed the test because of drawdown and drawdown, like it went with past $50. So let's say they say, don't go 500 drawdown. It went to 550 and I lost the challenge. So after that, I have never gone back. So I have attempted, I'm not saying I have never, I have attempted to do, to use prop farm, but I felt there is no breakthrough. I didn't feel breakthrough. So God gave me this scripture to read for you so that we can have a conversation, okay? So it's from Exodus chapter 23, Exodus 23 verse 27 and all the way to 30. So there are three verses. And I will, I will take my, what God is telling me. I may not be right, but at least I have tried to, to give you my thoughts. I will send my terror ahead of you and throw, throw into confusion every nation you encounter. I will make all your enemies turn their backs and run. 
So that scripture alone, that verse is saying what God will do to our enemies and any situation ahead of us. So he will bring confusion and they will encounter confusion and they will the enemies will turn their back and run. So it's just telling you that sometimes you may have a situation where God now comes through. He fights on your behalf. And then verse 28, I will send the hornet, the hornet ahead of you to drive the high whites, canites, and high tides out of your way. So God is saying any obstacle that is on your way, I know you, these people, you the high whites, the canites, you can't uh, fight them because these people were giants. They were big. You can't fight them. So me, God, I will fight this battle for you. Number 29, this is where I want you to carefully uh, listen and listen carefully. But I will not drive them out in a single year because the land will become desolate and the wild animals will be too numerous for you. Little by little, verse 30, underline that. Little by little, I will drive them out before you until you have increased, eh? Eish. until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. That is the word. And when the Holy Spirit gave me this word, I stopped, I stopped looking at prop farms in the way I used to look. I stopped. I said, God, you have told me in this word, there's some message, there's something that this there's a message here, guys. Little by little, I will drive them out before you until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. Now, what does what is the work of prop farm? We, we start from there. What is the work of prop farm? Prop farm are companies that come in the name of helping traders. They want to help traders with the capital that you choose. This prop farm, they can start from $1,000 all the way to $200,000. So this is a company that comes and tells you, you're a beginner. You don't know about the market. You have never seen even, even candles how they look. But they tell you there's a challenge. If you win these two challenges, we'll give you $100,000 dollars account will give you fifty thousand dollars account will give you ten thousand dollars account okay are you getting are you following me so this is a company promising you that i will remove the process i will remove the process for you yeah and i give you that account okay and you start trading so my problem my problem for me at the beginning i was like oh it's a good thing if a if a pro firm gives me a hundred thousand dollars oh my goodness that is a lot of money i will make so much money but if you just if you just see it in another in another way that is not the way of the lord because why would god say little by little i will drive them out before you until until you have increased enough enough you have increased enough to take possession the question is is your character developed to handle a hundred thousand dollar account is your character are you disciplined enough as a trader to be able to to operate big capital because for me i feel like people are wasting their time because if for me right now i want to take let's say a capital I will look from the experience that I have done for five years. And I'll say in the five years, I think I have dealt with a, a hundred dollar account, a thousand dollars account, five thousand dollars account. This is my own money. Ten thousand dollars account, fifty thousand dollars account, a hundred thousand dollars account. I have dealt with these all accounts. So if I go to Profarm right now, and I demand a hundred or fifty thousand dollars account and I pay for challenge. In the eyes of God, I have reached to the level. Maybe I'm good enough. But the question is, who is going for those accounts? You're a beginner. You want to go to profile. And you want to buy a 50000 You Why would you want to buy your way? <laughs> why would you want to buy your way? So in short, what I'm trying to say is that you can look at profile in different perspective. You can look at profile like this. I have grown in capacity. I have grown enough. I have built capacity as a forex trader. The problem now is capital. If you are that trader, go ahead. All the best, go ahead. And if at all you have grown the capacity, God is not a liar. Let all men be liars and God be true. God can never lie. God can never lie. He sees even deep down. Where men are not seeing, he sees. So you cannot lie to God. 
you cannot lie to God. You cannot cheat. You cannot cheat. So this is to tell you that if you have grown your capacity to a thousand dollars account, when you go to profile, what are you doing with fifty thousand dollars account? What are you going for a hundred thousand dollars account? What are you doing with two hundred thousand dollars account? You have never even touched your own ten thousand. You have not operated ten thousand, and you think. Oh, this prop firm will give me a 10,000. This is how I will succeed. The Bible is clear. God said, I will not drive these people in one year. God is trying to tell you, Esther, Esther Moffrey, I will help you. I will elevate you. But it won't be a, an overnight success. I will make you great. You will be great. But it won't be an overnight success. What does prop firm comes? It's like it gives you an overnight success. Today you didn't have money. You can buy your way. For me, I feel like people are buying their way. And I know those people who are using prop firm, you will be in the comment section, maybe not agreeing with what I'm saying. I'm saying if you have builded your capacity, let's say you have builded your capacity, you have the character, you have the discipline, you have the strategy, go for the prop firm. But how many people are building the capacity? Who is this idea being sold to? Not even professional traders. This idea is, is being sold to every trader who comes in the market. So for me, I can I can just say, and kindly listen and listen carefully. Listen and listen carefully. Anything before you do, ask the Holy Spirit. Because my instruction may be different as yours. For me, it's just the voice. And I know this video is coming timely. There's someone who has done those challenges. You keep failing. You keep failing. God is trying to tell you, why are you cheating the process? You keep buying. You bought a thousand challenge. You went to 5,000. You went to 50,000. Now you're at 100. You fail all of them. And you're still, you, it's your money who you, you are losing. And you, are, you won't grow. Now it's three years. You, you keep doing this challenge. You keep doing this challenge. You fail. You go again. You fail. Or you have succeeded on the challenge and you have entered the trade, you have made your money. When it is go time to be paid, you make one mistake and everything is crushed in your eyes and it's so painful. It's so painful. I want people to start realizing that problems are good, but you have to build your capacity. For me, I, I, I will not go to problem. For me, I believe the same way they, they call themselves investors and companies and they are, oh, we, 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 we want you to, to come and trade. We are, we, we are looking forward. For me, this is, this is what I tell God. This is what I tell God. And, and I will say it here because I know many people may watch this video. And I know, I do not know who can watch to make this dream come true. I have a dream, but I will make my own rules. I'm my own booze. Because I have the power. Remember the scripture? Huh? Remember from Acts 1, 8, the Bible says, when the power comes upon you, shall when there is power that will come upon you when you receive the Holy Spirit, I already know I have so much power in me. So this is what, this is what I pray God. I always tell God, why can't we have investors of these companies that will look someone with a talent and they give this capital with like you give this person capital and you're not looking, you, you're not giving all these rules. You just tell this person. Uh, and this is what, let me say for myself, because I don't want to say for everyone. This is what I visualize. I told God, I have read from Exodus, the way you do things, you have a process. God is a God of a process. That's why he created for six days. As powerful as God he is, he would have created for one day. Imagine. He would have said, let there be, let there be, let there be. One day and he's done. Why did he take six days? God is God of order, God of process. You can imagine, I, and I want to give you this scripture. When David was anointed to be king, David, after David being anointed to be king, he stayed for 13 years before he, sit, he sat on that throne. 13 years. What was happening in the 13 years? Why do you want to cheat your way to the to the to the top? Why do you want why why would you want to feel I have a hundred thousand dollars account trading cap and it is not yours? And you start building that and you don't want to grow from 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 fifty dollars to a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. So me, I'm speaking to that person who had questions. 
and they have been trying pro form and they don't pass or they pass and they fail in the first payout or they have attempted to do it or they have thought about it or they don't have capital. I, I'm, I'm talking to that person. I'm talking to that person. So God is a God of order. So for me, what I have, let me go back to that point. I, this is my prayer. I always say, how many, how many NGOs, how many, how many organizations, they fund, they fund uh, research, millions of dollars. They, they fund research. This is a research, go and research. And the money is gone like that. They fund research. And these people, they either get positive or negative report. The money is already spent. So who will ever come and say, Esther Murphy, I have seen you have God-given strategies. You call them Holy Spirit strategies. I have seen. Take this $1 million or $500,000. Trade. There is no rules. You trade. You trade. This, this experimental. You trade. Create now content telling people that if you have this capital, like, will we ever have such a person? who is not looking after themselves, but they are driven to help the society and the community because proper, proper, they are out for themselves. They are out for themselves. But will we ever find like an organization that are pushing for talents? They just want, if you say you have this skill, come, we'll give you money. You don't pay anything. We give you live account. You like, will we ever have something like that? That's my question. Will I ever stumble upon something like that? And I can agree. I can agree. Because number one, I need to trade with a big capital with my own rules. It's my strategy, my own rules. Why would you tell me not to do one, two, three? It's because you know I will not do your rules and I will fail. So for me, I tell God, oh my God. God, because you're in heaven, you have said we ask anything we want. As long as I believe in Jesus, I can ask anything that I want. And you know, doing such videos is crazy because you don't know who is watching. And I know there are billions, there are billionaires out there. These people, they are so rich, they have money. Why can't they just spare some few money amount? And they say, oh, this, this one, let me just look for talented forex traders and see what they can do. And as I help them, they will be helping the community. For me, I feel that one now, it can work for me. That one, I can agree. Number one, <laughs> there is nowhere. It's, you're not an investor. I'm not trading for you. This thing of trading on behalf, you stop. Because there are people, if you have not fallen for the trap of prop firm, you will fall from the trap of taking people's money and trying to trade for them at an, at an interest or a whatever. It won't work. It won't work because when you are trading, your mind is full of, I am supposed to pay so-and-so, I'm supposed to pay so-and-so, I'm supposed to pay. It won't work. So if you're planning, if your uncle has told you they will give you a thousand dollars or five thousand or ten thousand dollars, and then you'll be sending them 30 percent of what you get, it won't work. It won't work because when 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 you do that way, you're not trading with your mind. You're trading with that mind of that person that you're trading. You are keeping him in the mind. Anytime you, like right now, if someone gives me $100,000 to trade and then we split 50-50, anytime I enter the trade, I'm thinking about him. So when will we have someone comes and see, Esther Moffrey, you have a talent. I have $500,000. Um trade this account. In fact, I don't want to share any, but I just want to build what you keep saying. I want to build you. And that's how companies are builded. That's how institutions are builded. That's how, that, if that happens, I will say now this, this one is God because not, I, I, I think it's 0, 0.000. Who can agree to that? 0, 0.000. Even billionaires, they're out for themselves. They want to make more money. Someone has so much money in their account. They cannot just look at this girl and say, hey, I have seen your effort. I have seen you're trying to help people. Now, the only thing that I can do, you say you have strategies. What is lacking? For me, I want to like trade with a million dollars. It's crazy, but that's the Bible says that as, as a man thinking, so he is. So will I go to convince a pro firm to give me a million dollars 
or to give me $200,000 and then they give me 10, 50 rules. What am I doing? When I was studying my strategy, of course, it cannot even meet their rules because it's repelling. So for me, I'm, 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 I'm saying, in short, what I'm trying to say is that my thoughts on prop firm, you can check in two ways. If you have builded your capacity, go for that $1,000. God can help you because now the Bible also say, I will bless the work of your hands. So at the end of the day, God shall bless the work of your hands. So the prop firm are there. They are good because they are giving you opportunity, but people perish for lack of knowledge. People, you can never cheat. You can never cheat the process. If you have mastered a strategy for so long, just go and pick a challenge of a thousand dollars don't go beyond if you go beyond it will be more than your mind okay so that is my thought and i have based it in the word of god and as long as god is saying until you build enough capacity until you build enough capacity uh that's when i can bring that so for me i i for me, the kind of prop firm I would want, not even prop firm, me, I want to work with an individual or an NGO. Like I want to work with someone who they have so much money, they are thinking, how can this money inspire people? How can this money change the lives of people? And then now they come to me and say, I have this kind of amount. If you trade and you trade your strategies, what can you do? Can you inspire people? But not like partnership, uh, investor. No, mm -mm. that one will affect the trader's mind. I'm telling you for a fact. The minute you are signing that document that now I'm trading on you, I'll be giving you 5%, 1%, it will spoil your mind. And for me, I know it is possible because um, you remember when Israelites were moving away from Egypt, God told them, go and knock in, in the Egyptians' doors and you take gold, silver, and all everything good. And these people did not refuse. Let me tell you, don't joke with God. Don't joke with God. Anything that you ask God, he can give you. And that's what me, I'm asking. Like, sometimes I sit down and I'm thinking, how can I, what is the feeling of trading with a million dollars account? Do you know a million dollars is a hundred million Kenya shillings? Like, what, how do you feel like when you put hundred lot like that's what I feel always like how do I feel like I start putting a hundred lot yes ten lot is big but imagine a hundred lot and then you have like three or four trades Eish! because you have to push your mind don't when if your dream does not scare you dream again hey dream again if your dream does not scare you dream again so sometimes we we, we think problem is then no god can do even a bigger miracle he can even give you that money yourself so for me my my i will end there my thoughts on problem it's all about your capacity don't you cannot cheat the process you cannot you cannot and, and god says i am not driving you i'm not giving you money pap I have to check your character. I have to check your greed. I have to check your pride. I have to check your fears. I have to check all these things before I give you what I have promised you. Yes, I have promised you, but I have to check all these things. But you, you want to bypass all these things and you go directly to the money. It won't work. So my thought is, according to the word of God, if you go to the process and you're pruned, I said about being pruned, the gardener comes to prune us if you're pruned and now you go to a farm, it can work for you. But if you want to change the process, you will keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you share this video to at least five people. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye and thank you.